when we showed up at Sound City. What is this place? Because I don't know that we can make a record in here. When you walk into Sound City, you either love it or you hate it. It looks kind of dumpy. Brown shag carpet on the wall. That's the kind of thing that you would do to your van. But walking down the hallway and seeing all of those platinum records on the wall, that's what I'm talking about. Tom Petty. Fleetwood Mac. Neil Young, man. Cheap Trick. Chili Peppers. Pat Benatar. Guns N' Roses. Nine Inch Nails. Before and Earth. Rap. Johnny Cash. Metallica. Dude, how many music albums have you made there? Who chose Sound City because Nevermind was recorded there? <laughs> This guy, Rupert Neve, designed these next generation consoles. There's only four like this in the world. There's something about the Neve sound. It's a pretty badass console. When you came to work at Sound City, it was a tape-based studio. You knew what you were getting. Sound City was a place where real men went to make records. All oh, during the 80s, you listen to one of these stations where they play rock and roll. Seven or eight out of that, ten songs were recorded at Sound City. I was wondering whoever used the board after us if they had a burning sensation in the next morning. Then they'd know we were there. <laughs> Other studios started to shift. Everything's got to be digital. Now you can record audio into the computer. I heard some young guy in a band say, you don't have to practice anymore. Or you just slice it up in the computer and it comes out perfectly. Sun City, it just couldn't keep up. Started selling off the gear in Studio B. I thought that board would just go straight to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. I'm trying to move on, but it's been hard. Like many things, there's no bookstore, there's no music store, and there's no Sound City. In this age of technology, where you can manipulate anything, how do we retain that human element? Let's rock, let's play, let's record. Be true to yourself and make the music that you love. Chemistry is something that happens between people. The conversation became something much bigger. How do we keep music to sound like people? It sort of like evolves until it hits this point and maybe goes...